Happy Friday! This week, we're telling two stories about a llama. It's the same llama. First, he destroys the world, and then he brings about an alpacalypse. Have you ever wondered what a llama sounds like? Well, I asked our new youth librarian, Hannah, if she knew. Let's see what she thinks. <laughs> I'm not very sure that that's what a llama sounds like, but our llama only says one word and you're about to find out what it is. Let's get started. On Friday, Llama will destroy the world. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. Monday. On Monday, Llama found cake. Piles of cake, more cake than any Llama should ever eat. Dad, said Llama. Llama ate all of the cake. This was his first mistake. It was an honest mistake. It was a delicious mistake. One of those mistakes that leads to more mistakes and eventually the ultimate doom of everything. Tuesday. Tuesdays were for dancing, so Llama put on his dancing pants. The pants did not fit. He was still full of cake. But he had never danced without his dancing pants. They made his butt look groovy. So Llama huffed and puffed and squeezed and stuffed himself into the pants. This was his second mistake. And then Llama danced. He jigged. He tangoed. He cha cha real smooth. His rhythm was perfect. His moves were precise, but his pants never stood a chance. The rhythm was thunderous. It shook the house, the trees, the mountains. It shook the very fabric of the universe. The cosmic vibrations from the ripping pants were so mighty that a black hole tore open. Wednesday. On Wednesday, Llama found the black hole. Dad? said Llama. He had never seen a black hole before. He didn't know what it could be or what it could do. But Llama was a Llama of science. He knew the answers were out there waiting to be discovered. Llama read books. He ran complex experiments. He debated with the greatest minds and thinkers he could find, and then he analyzed the data and came to a well-thought-out conclusion. Dad, said Llama wisely. Instead of warning the world of its imminent doom, Llama decided to do something more important. He made a bologna and cheese sandwich with extra cheese. This was his third mistake. Thursday. On Thursday, many signs of doom appeared in the sky. Flying top hats, soaring teacups, twisting, tumbling, well-dressed turtles, but Llama didn't notice. Thursdays were for painting, and Llama was busy painting his latest masterpiece. The end was near. Friday. On Friday, the world ended. The more the black hole sucked in, the bigger and stronger it grew. The animals flew. The pizzas and bicycles and houseplants flew. And Llama flew, too. I am Llama! The black hole swallowed everything up. Every single thing left in the world. Everything left in the universe. Until there was nothing. Saturday. On Saturday, on the other side of the black hole, everything was fine. The universe tumbled out exactly as it had been before. Even Llama. I'm Llama! Proclaimed Llama. The sky was blue. The sun was shining. The world was perfectly calm, like nothing had ever happened. Sunday. On Sunday, with the world back to normal, Llama found something wonderful. Piles of pie. More pie than any Llama should ever eat. That, said Llama. And Llama ate all of the pie. The end. Llama unleashes the apocalypse. By dinner... Llama will unleash a great apocalypse upon the world. I am Llama, proclaimed Llama. Breakfast. Every morning, Llama started the day with a large, balanced breakfast. The problem with a large, balanced breakfast was the large, unbalanced mess they made. Now, Llama was many things. A dancer, a daring adventurer, a beekeeper, a gentleman, a scholar. But one thing Llama definitely was not was a Llama who cleaned up after his own messes. So he dreamed up an idea, an ambitious idea, a dangerous idea, an idea so outrageous it just might work. Ta-da!
said Llama. Lunch. At lunch, Llama called his friend Alpaca. I am Alpaca, answered Alpaca. I am Llama, said Llama. Alpaca was an alpaca of impeccable tidiness. Nothing brought Alpaca more joy than cleaning. Llama knew this. So Llama invited Alpaca over for lunch. Llama invited Alpaca into the Replicator 3000. And then Llama invited disaster. Alpaca and his clone cleaned the kitchen with swiftness and ease. So swiftly and easily that Llama wondered what he could do with more alpacas. Llama pressed the button again. Zoop, and again. Zoop, 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 and again. Zoop. With every press there was a zoop, and with every zoop there was another alpaca. Llama had created an army of cleaners. Work, 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 shouted the alpacas. The alpacas cleaned with passion and vigor, but the more they cleaned, the more mess they made. Second lunch. By second lunch, Llama's mouth was full of spaghetti and Llama's house was full of alpacas. So Llama did the most sensible thing he could think of. He opened the front door and let his mess go somewhere else. The alpacalypse had begun. Dinner. Wark, wark, it was wark, dinner time, wark, wark, and alpacas wark, roamed wark, the earth. Wark. They cleaned everything. The houses, the schools, the playgrounds, even the fanciest French restaurants. We, 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 shouted the alpacas. No, 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 shouted the servers. There was pandemonium in the streets and alpacas. Alpacas everywhere. This is the end, shouted everyone. Second dinner. It was second dinner, and Llama heard none of the uproar. He was busy composing his greatest symphony and eating a cheese pizza with extra cheese. It smelled delicious. A deliciousness that could be smelled miles and miles away. Back, the alpacas raced to Llama's house, fast and furious, extremely famished. Pizza, 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 shouted the alpacas. Llama feared for his pizza. So he hid it, but Llama was not good at hiding, and the alpacas stormed right in after it. Pizza, 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 shouted the alpacas. In a final attempt to save his food, Llama pressed the other button. He unzooped every single alpaca until there was only one left. I'm Llama. I'm alpaca. Dessert. It was time for dessert, and though Llama's house was still a mess, along with the rest of the world, nothing got between Llama and his cake. The problem was, Llama only had one slice of cake. Llama was many things. An artist, a versatile stage actor, an athlete, and a steamed oceanographer. But one thing Llama was not was a Llama who ate only one slice of cake. So Llama dreamed up an idea. An ambitious idea, a dangerous idea, an idea so outrageous it just might work. That, said Llama, the end. Well, I hope you enjoyed those stories as much as I did. Next week we'll have another fun craft and we'll be getting ready for some spooky stories because it's fall, it's October. Until then, wash your hands, wear your mask, social distance, and happy Friday.